Tim already has his Portuguese rutting red stag. It is his next outing with Sergio Couto and we are keeping our options open. OK, well we just um, driven onto a, a national park actually, so very different areas where we were before. You see it's very, very much more open. And on this um, property, they got a lot of wild boar, they got red deer, we just see some um, red hinds actually just on the other side of the valley there. And also they've got some fallow deer. We've got about an hour's worth of sunlight left. So we're just going to have a quick look around and uh, see if we can find ourselves, maybe hopefully, a, a boar. They've got some, they shot a really big one here two days ago. So I always, always get excited when it comes to boar. Something about boar. Anyway, but uh, whatever. Um, once again, with the rucksack and rifle, when we go filming, we, 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 it, nothing's guaranteed. <laughs> nothing's guaranteed, you know. It's not, as um, Sergio says, it's not a supermarket. So we get out there, have some adventure, have some fun, and hopefully find ourselves some game. There is all sorts of game available here, but Serge asks if we can keep a lookout for a young animal for the pot. You know, Portugal is known for a lot of things, not for hunting. And, and I'll try now, coming back to my, my original country, and try to do something, you know, try to push it a bit forward. And that's the idea, between me and Tiago, of course. He has passed his love of venison onto his parents in northern Portugal. Eating game doesn't come naturally to the Portuguese. Different countries have different cultures. There is no right, there is no wrong. It's just the way people are brought up with, you know. And I have to learn that myself. Um, because, you know, the way we do in Scotland, it's different than they do in Portugal, it's different than they do in Croatia, it's different, but there's no right or wrong. The Hadada da Urgiera is where Sergio and Tiago host their guests. It's comfortable, we imagine, as on this hunting trip the accommodation is something we're not seeing a great deal of. After another full morning's worth of hunting the eucalyptus plantation, we return to the National Park. We came here last night, we're looking for a beast for the pot. Yes, if your parents are here, they, 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 you actually converted them to uh, venison, venison yes. yeah, which is unusual for Portuguese. So. Yeah, we were looking for a spiker or a young doe as well. You could a young doe as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something young and tender. Yeah. Uh, old folk, you so know. Don't we all, yes. Old folk, thief, thief <laughs> are a bit worn. <laughs> This is our last chance of a second animal on this trip, and we're all a bit tired. I've been using the, um, the kite optics, and today I'm using the Lynx. They're 8 by 30s really lightweight. And uh, towards the end of a trip, getting a bit tired. And uh, I find it really, really brilliant. One hand, two hands, but uh, they're just so light and portable. It just makes a bit of a, a change from the kind of heavy optics on the back of your neck. But they're just really good to pop into your pocket, boom to your side. So it actually makes a, you know, it makes a good change to have a lightweight pair of optics in this bright weather. They're actually perfect. So, um, yeah, perfect for the job, actually. As we perch on our rock, the light is going fast, but we hear roaring, which gets the blood pumping once more. Sergio spots a fallow pricket way in the distance. It's going to be a 15-minute march to get within a shooting range, but then there's movement to our left across the valley. Yeah. Sergio tells Tim to shoot the calf. The calf to turn a bit. Come on. Stop, stop. Have to. See you went down. <laughs> oh, double blood pressure. Never over until it's over. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was not an easy shot. 
not too, not too easy. That's not easy shot. It's 270 no, yards away. Uh, and, the, and the beast went away as well, and he came back, and he kept calling it. And then the mum turned away, and I thought, oh my goodness, before she had stood a bit longer, but... And also, the, the, it was actually looking at us. And I just didn't want to take that shot when it was flat on. I knew when she came up and went out, she didn't know, she should the back and she didn't know what to were. Yeah, yeah, so definitely, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah it was, it's not easy, but uh, yeah, well, <laughs> just shows you what patience can do. Um, you know, the light is dropping so, so fast, yes. but well spotted. I mean, David saw the one down there. It was the same pair, I suppose, was yes. it? Same yes. pair. And then you hear them barking, yeah. corking away. Oh, my goodness gracious. But. Uh, that's quite a shot. I was 270 odd yards away. You know, reasonably stable position. I just thought going back and yeah, yeah. And flap. But that's the, in some ways, the beauty of a 300 wind mag. Yeah. yeah you got down, you got downrange energy. You know, it would knock him over. You should have waited another 15 minutes to be on the track. Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. yeah. <laughs> I blame the caller. Oh, well done. Oh, well yeah. done. You you persisted. I I I'm more or less given up. To be fair. I know. You just never know, do you? What's out there? It's never ended until it's end. That's right, right yeah. But that, I think also it tells you is this quad sticks, whatever whatever brand they are, it does, exactly. they, yeah. they they have actually transformed um, long longer range because if you had just normal sticks, that'd yeah. been quite a tricky shot. Oh, yeah. Much much easier, a lot more stable, you know. And they transformed hunting, especially for planes game. Of course, because you know, it's like shooting from a table is really yeah. really good. A lot more. Yes, yeah. yeah. so all you got to worry about is the, is the up the elevation up and yeah. down. That's what you got to hold. But sideways movement. But well done, guys. That was I'm I'm impressed because I, you know, <laughs> you give up on me. Eh? I, <laughs> yes, you, I, I, you, I, I was in the cameraman. Uh, yes, I come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but well done. Well done. You, you. You've come up with the Thank goods you. again. Yeah. Good. Well done, you. <laughs> Bushes, big tree. That was not an easy shot. I can just put my gun down. It's unloaded. Uh, that was not an easy shot. Right on top of the brow of this hill, 270 odd yards away. And I think it's actually a high shot. We'll have a look in a minute, but uh, I was pretty stable actually anyway, but uh, it kept on moving a bit, so it wasn't the easiest of uh, ones to take. But uh, beautiful looking youngster there. And uh, Sergio was wanted a one for the pot for his for his parents and we've got the best one you know nice youngster there it's going to be beautiful eating as well what can i say about portugal um very surprised it's a beautiful place this part of portugal is stunning scenery here you can see how the landscape how it varies so much it's got so much to offer the stags the stag there's plenty of stags they're big they're healthy they you know even some of the fallow around here they're beautiful animals and there's wild boar as well so i think we need to get down here guys because there's a lot to be had and there's some really good guys youngsters down here who are running these 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 outfitters and they're dedicated to the hunting and they're looking after this livestock anyway end of lovely day a lovely trip early start of the morning and within uh i don't know about 18 hours we're back in london and uh, back home again so what a wonderful trip another Special trip for rucksack and rifle. Hola! With the calf Gralix, our chariot arrives. It's the ranger's pickup. What a motor! <laughs> what the bloody hell's that? <laughs> hey? For more information about Steyr rifles, go to steyrmanlicker.com. For Harkila, visit harkila.com. For Kite Optics, take a look That'd at kiteoptics.com. And if you want to hunt with Sergio and Tiago in Scotland or Portugal, Go to circoutwildharvest.com. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Uh, not a problem at all.